Wahala. Who among you here believe in aliens? UFOs, some uh, creepy uh, beings with big head, with uh, tiny big head, tiny neck, big eye, no hair, no uh, print, nothing, no bones. Some some don't even have bones in their body. You know, who, who among you believe in those creepy things? I believe in spirit, though. I believe in genes. I believe it's technology beyond human imagination. You might call it uh, voodoo magic, you might call it spirit, or you might call it whatever you want to call it. But I believe in technology beyond human, human imagination. But there is this theory, the white man's theory, that even in Egypt, in all the Egypt on their scripture, what they wrote on their word, that uh, some kind, some things kind of point to the fact, to some, some, uh, to some historical record that some beings visited Earth thousands of years ago. They visited Earth thousands of years ago, and they taught humans how things about technology and so many other stuff. Well, I do not know, guys, because I wasn't there. But according to some scholars, that's what they told us. So I cannot say if it's true or not. But recently in Miami, United States of America, I am not in Miami or I'm nowhere close to Miami. I've never been to the United States of America. But according to the footages I'm seeing online, they said on New Year's Day that some policemen receive a distress call that some eight to foot, eight to ten feet tall beings were seen parading around Miami Mall. Eight to ten feet tall beings were seen parading around in Miami Mall. That's how they described it. And then police came there swiftly. They saw, uh, of course, the video I'm showing, showing you see a lot of our police cars there. But according to the police, the report they are telling the general public is that they received a distress call that the Miami Mall, that they were teenagers there who were trying to rob, they were holding firearms, so they quickly responded to the distress call, and they called other police uh, personnel around. So that was why you see a lot of police vehicles. So, <laughs> however, people are kind of like wondering, people are kind of like uh, not really getting the story. So they ask a question. So you know what I mean? Say, uh, because of four police people, uh, four hand robbers, now police people for full Miami, more like that, because of four hand robbers, we are seeing over 50 police cars because of four armed robbers. In, and it wasn't even a robbery, they say teenagers. Because of four teenagers, and they say four teenagers were arrested. But according to eyewitnesses, they said they saw aliens. Eight to ten foot tall aliens. aliens. And even Chris Brown, Chris Brown himself, posted about it. Chris Brown said, so we are not going to talk about the alien in the, Miami, in the mall in Miami. The next level is where I am headed, headed. I will involve, I will ascend, I will grow. No one see my vision. Okay, that's something about me personally. If Chris Brown posted about it, Chris Brown is United States of America and a lot of other persons again posted about it. Of course, there should be some anthem of truth. I already know we are not working alone on this art. Baby, I already know that we are not working alone on this art. In fact, scripture, I'm a Muslim, the Quran teaches us that ah, God didn't create only human beings on this earth. 
And the universe is so vast. Not to even think there are no any other creation somewhere. And again, if you check the scriptures, you will know about fallen angels. You will read about some certain things that kind of like make sense about some certain beings still visiting earth. There might be fallen angels. There might be those people who run away from it. There are all those beings who disobey God, who are just hanging somewhere there. You know, there are a lot of conspiracy theories. I do not know. I do not know. <laughs> I'm just reacting based on that video. But according to the police, they said it's nothing. So I, I, I believe the citizens should listen to their government who said it's nothing. It's just coincident. They responded to some robbery in a call and police people just uh, came to Miami Mall that is just coincident and everything. But there are videos though, there are pictures, I am not sure if they are real. I am not sure if they are real. See, I am not sure if they are real. Man. Let me just make that clear. Absolutely clear. I'm not sure if they are real. But I believe, according to the scripture, we are not alone. God didn't create only human beings to dwell on this earth. He created so many other stuff apart from the animals, insects, and so many other things. Apart from that, He created other stuff. Other stuff, other beings visited this earth. Taught human beings a lot of things. It's written in uh, one read the book. So by the time you read all those, you kind of like understand. Wow, maybe, maybe, maybe those beings that are visiting are still visiting. So we just pick the name alien. We just pick the name alien. And meanwhile, it's already written in our scriptures in the Quran that yes, indeed, there are some fallen angels who have been on earth, who are still coming. Who disobeyed God? Who taught human beings this uh, different way of creating weapons and uh, technology to improve human life and to also destroy human life? You know? Well, I don't know if it's true or not, though. But apart from that, let's move over to Nigeria. Actor Bon Lally was recently accused of uh, releasing a tape. And the tape, if you want to watch it, go and check my. Go and check my telegram at Adam Slim Media. You go over there and then just click it. I'm going to accept you when you see the tape. But now he responded to that uh, news. He said that tape is not his. That is not his tape. He never missed such a video. And meanwhile, that tape, the, the man who was filming that tape have similar tattoo with him. But he said it's not him. Let's listen to him, guys. Hey, 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 what's up, guys? Well, I'll tell you, buy you. <laughs> hey, guys, so look, my ears are full already. Everybody's calling me. People are commenting on my page about a video that's circulating about some guy doing his thing, having fun, enjoying himself. Some guy that's not Balalini, you know, that's not Makanaki. And I guess uh, having a tattoo is now a halal. I don't know, but. I mean, you guys can look at my tattoo. I mean, I saw the video and <laughs> I, <laughs> I understand that the guy does have a band, you know, but come on, guys. Like, I respect myself too much for that. And I will never, ever even disappoint myself, my family or my fans like that. OK, so bloggers and influencers and everybody that's just talking and trying to chase some clout, please. Eh, John to your love. Hmm? Let's respect each other. Let's respect ourselves. I love you guys. I love my fans. Um, no, that video is not me. Like I said, this is my tattoo. <laughs> you can look at it over and over again. I mean, but hey, things happen. That video is not me. So please um, stop circulating this rumor or this negative thing about me. I am not the one in the video, guys. Okay. Um, and please, let's, let's just let this end. Give me a call, you want me to go to your low, say go, eh? All right, thank you, I love you guys. Well, he said it's not him, so let it go. It's not him, but if you still are interested in the video, go over to my Telegram, I'm going to see the at Adam Sling Media, so, and the link will be uh, below, copy it, and then you're going to 
take you directly to the deliverer. But he said, it's not him. It's not him, guys. It's not him. So believe him that it's not him. Don't go further. Don't be talking. Don't be asking questions. Just believe that it's not him. Despite they both have similar tattoo, that doesn't mean it's not him. He said it's not him. So believe and just believe.